Welcome back to the channel guys, it's Miles. I was just offered a four fight deal worth over half a million dollars, 500 plus thousand bucks. And I wanna get your guys' take on it. Should I accept a deal, should I not? Which way should I go? If you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Miles and in 2019, I signed a four fight deal with Bellator Fighting Championship. Now, prior to that, the past seven years, I was signed with the UFC the Ultimate Fighting Championship, and I had 14 plus bouts with them. And in 2019, I transitioned to Bellator. And I made a whole video on why I left the UFC after the seven years, so check it out if you haven't already. But when I signed with Bellator, I did the four fights, and my first fight was with Benson Henderson. And I ended up losing a decision, a close fight. Now my second fight, I ended up taking on the buzzsaw type guy, Brandon Gertz, very, very tough guy heavy boxing, good wrestler, and I ended up winning that fight by decision. And now finally, this past year, August, I uh, beat Georgie Karahankin by decision. So right now, I'm three fights deep into my Bellator contract, and I have one fight left. Now, before I get into the details of exactly, you know, this contract, this half a million bucks, I want to know your guys' opinions. Moving forward over the next four fights in my career, would you guys say I should go to UFC? And if so, Why? Do you think I should stay in Bellator? If so, why? I want to know. And also while you're at it, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button so you guys are notified for when I'm dropping new content for you. Now, Bellator came to me. They said, hey, Miles, we want to give you another four fight deal. And this is where that $500 plus thousand dollars came into play. Now, this is a good thing, right? Your employer says, hey, we want to keep you. We want to pay you more money. We want to give you more bouts. So I'm very thankful for this offer. And, you know, it's good money in my opinion. Uh, four fights, you know, I, it ain't like they just give you $500,000. You know, there's certain stipulations I got to hit. Um, it's over four fights. And, uh, man, it's just, it's a great opportunity and it's it's good pay. I mean, at this point in my career, I've done very, very well for myself and I feel like I'm very successful. So, I kind of got to weigh my options. One more fight with them and then I could either be a free agent, you know. So, that, that kind of brings up the question... Where do I want to go? What, what do I want to do, right? And, you know, first things first, you have an organization like the PFL, Professional Fighters League. And uh, I believe it's Professional Fighters League. It might be Fighting League. Um, but it, this is another organization that was an option. You know, maybe fight out my Bellator, my last fight, and maybe go with PFL. You know, Anthony Pettis just got signed with them. They have those million-dollar, you know, contracts where if you win that tournament, you can get a million bucks. So... That's pretty awesome. Uh, one thing with PFL though right now is that their roster and 155 pounds is already filled. So for me, it isn't really the best option. Do you know what I mean? It's just the timing didn't work out. They already had their roster filled. By the time I'm done fighting with Bellator, if I fought out my contract, I would kind of be missing the boat for wanting, for PFL wanting me to fight for them. So PFL is off the table. Now you have one FC. Um, which is a, is a, a company that uh, is very, very big. Um, I don't know exactly what they pay. I don't know a lot of fighters that fight for 1FC, but I, I do get a lot of comments and people talking about it on the channel. And, and it, you know, for a good reason. They are a big company based, uh, you know, Asia, um, the market's over there. But here's the thing. My management has talked to 1FC and they've had fighters with them. And there's the travel uh, ban and the travel situation where if I was to fight with 1FC, you know, they, the pay wouldn't be anything crazier than what I would be getting, uh, maybe even less. But here's the thing is I would have to fly, stay a week or two in quarantine, pay out of my own pocket in a hotel, pay for all my corners, uh, you know, to stay in a hotel. I got to pay for all their food, you know, thousands and thousands of dollars just to be able to go and have the opportunity to fight. Uh, that's the protocol, you know, if you want to fight 1FC. So that just sounds like, uh, man, a lot of a lot of work um, for not really much payoff. So for me, 1FC whoosh, is off the table. Now that leaves probably the one that you guys are wondering, the UFC, right? This is the, uh, the giant in the sport of mixed martial arts. It's been said that 90 plus percent of the fans, of the viewers, of uh, the market goes with UFC, you know, as far as... Uh, 
fans and in their uh, their product you know they get 90 percent of the viewerships and basically all eyes are on ufc you know what i mean it's it's the the top organization the biggest one and then rightfully so you know you have a lot of guys in ufc that can be deemed the best fighters in the world you know champions that that are there they ha they have the utmost respect now also with the ufc you do have what's called those fight of the night bonuses so you get those 50 extra k's you know possibly 100 depending on you know your fight your performance um with the ufc though i don't believe i would be making as much money as with bellator um ufc has a big bottleneck of fighters and you know they're they're letting guys fight out their contracts i've heard they're uh, they're signing guys at, at a lower pace, um, and you know rightfully so. I mean UFC does have a lot of shows going on, and you know for me I would see the opportunity in UFC just to to battle some of those great fighters. Obviously you have if you break out and you get towards that title shot, you're going to be getting paid. You know there's a lot of money at the top of the UFC um, that get, getting towards that world title. You have. Uh, you know, a lot of opportunities. You know, you get a lot more respect when it comes with UFC as well. I feel like, you know, UFC fighters, they're a lot more known than other organizations. So that's one good thing of maybe fighting out my contract with Bellator and going to UFC. I would also say, though, if I did fight out my contract and go to UFC, I wouldn't expect UFC to, to necessarily say, oh, we want to sign them right now and, and do this and that. The way the organization looks like they're going is I would expect more or less become a free agent, jump on a last minute fight with the UFC, and that would be my way to, to get back in there if I choose so. Now, what about Bellator? That's another great option. Why not just stay with them, have my last fight, or sign a new one with them? Um, you know, like I said, this is a contract valued over four fights, over half a million bucks. So stay there, um, fight. They, they're signing a bunch of good guys, a bunch of good competition. They want to market me. They want to put me in you know, main events, co-main events. They want to put me on main cards and they just signed with Showtime. So I think that that's pretty awesome. That's a, uh, to me, that's more of like an intimate type of channel. You have, uh, you know, I've been a fan of Showtime. I've watched it since I was a kid and I've never fought on there. You know, I've fought from Fox to ESPN to uh, pay-per-view cards to Spike. So why not let's throw some Showtime on there? So my point is, is I want to get your guys' thoughts. Do you think I should sign with UFC? Do you think I should fight out my contract or just sign again with Bellator? Do you think uh, maybe just fight out my last fight and go back to the UFC? Why? How? I want to know your guys' opinions because this is a big decision coming up and I want to let the YouTube fam in on it and I want to hear what you guys got to say. So make sure guys, drop a thumbs up below, drop a comment, let me know. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you guys subscribe, check out the channel and I'll see you guys next time.